to my new YouTube channel. This is really exciting for me because um, I have been devouring hundreds of YouTube vlogs from talented sewists for a while now and have been a bit uh, keen to start my own but not quite sure whether I could or not so hopefully you'll find this interesting because I've really appreciated being part of the sewing community and watching everybody else's. Um, so I thought today it might be interesting just to get to know people and show you the sort of sewing that I'm doing at home. Uh, I really enjoy sewing, I've got three children, um, I really enjoy sewing for them as well as sewing for myself and um, I do want to do videos on children's sewing because um, I'm sure there are other mums out there that are really into sewing. I know Amanda from I Sew A Lot has twin boys and she sews for her sons. What I might do is just show you some of my most recent makes here today and then maybe make another one um, with all the children's bits and pieces in. So um, I've got quite a few of pattern reviews and um, I am literally just like the world's biggest, most obsessed sewing fiend. So uh, I have tons and tons of patterns and fabric and notions and yeah, much like everybody else's vlogs that I've been watching. If I'm not sewing, I'm thinking about sewing, and if I'm not thinking about my own sewing, I'm watching someone else sew, so yeah, so we get started. So uh, I've made myself two of these linden sweatshirts so far. This one is in sort of a sage green colour um, knit fabric, which is from Fabricland, which is my local shop. I know Rosa from Sewn does a lot of shopping in Fabricland, so we can be Fabricland friends together. But um, yeah, this linden sweatshirt I wear all the time. It's kind of that nice sage green colour, goes with my colouring. Um, and it's a really simple sew. I usually make all of these knit things on my overlocker, straight overlocking rather than stitching on my sewing machine. I've grown to absolutely love my overlocker since I've discovered stretch fabric. Um, yeah, so this one is actually a bit pilled and bobbly now because I've worn it so often, but it is um, one of my favourite sweatshirt shapes. I can't remember who made a dress in this, but one of you guys made a dress in this sort of it's almost like embossed it's got a raised spot um it's quite heavy it's a little it's a lot heavier than the last jersey it's almost like a ponty weight it's very thick and warm i don't think i'll be wearing this much in the spring because it's a proper winter snuggly jersey but because it is that thicker weight it's um the sizing you know this this sweatshirt is actually a little bit tighter on me it's not uncomfortably tight but it's not as loose and comfy as the green one so I tend to wear it slightly less often um, purely because it's so thick and warm and now the weather seems to be getting better so yeah those are my two lindens so the next thing I was going to show you like everybody else I am absolutely obsessed with the new Tilly and the Buttons book I've got my copy here I ordered it in January and was so excited when it came through the post. I barely wanted to open the cover to see what was inside because I knew once I'd done that I would know and the anticipation was like amazing. First thing I made was the BB, if you can see that well. It's a pinafore dress made from uh, Ponte Roma or so, another sort of thickish jersey, a stable knit and um, it has this lovely pencil skirt with a bib at the top. I'm sure everyone is aware, lots of people have made them. I know the Stitch Sisters have um, made a few things from this book as well. So I made mine in a dark green Ponte Roma, which I was gifted by a friend. Um, it's not my favourite colour, I have to say. It's probably a bit too dark a green, although my husband said it looks nice on. Um, 
but I, it was kind of like a wearable toile. I wanted to have a test run to see, one, whether the shape would fit my body, and two, whether or not um, it would be the right size for me. And uh, what actually ended up happening is I'm really happy with the dress. It, it does fit really nicely, but it's a little bit more figure-hugging than maybe I feel comfortable in. Um, so I'll stick all the Tilly things together. The other Tilly, uh, two Tilly patterns that I've made up um, are the Megan dress. This is from her first book called Love at First Stitch. And I really liked the shape of this dress, the sort of empire line underneath the bust, um, skimming out over the hips. And I was really excited to make my own version, sort of make it my own style. So I made mine out of a denim fabric. Um, it has got a tiny, is it? No, it doesn't have any stretch in it. But um, this was also from Fabricland. And I decided to have my first go at applying piping, which you can see here, uh, which is really good fun actually. I'm so excited to do some more piping. It's quite, it's quite straightforward once you get the hang of it. And I just really love this sort of pop of bright yellow, um, which I put on the zip as well. So I've had lots of compliments about this dress. I think because it's slightly different to any other dresses that you tend to see. So, um, yeah, love this pattern. I don't think I had to make many alterations. I can't really remember to be honest it was a while ago that I made it's probably last summer but I put uh, yellow bias binding in the um, arms as well uh, just to sort of match it up but it is yeah lovely lovely pattern haven't made any more Megan dresses but um, it's more to do with the fact that I don't have haven't had the time to because I would love to And then the last thing I've made of Tilly's is, everyone's made one of these, the, Co the Clio, uh, you can see there. And my version is in quite a heavy non-stretch denim, again from Fabricland because that's my local fabric shop. Um, I, I love this dress, I wear it all the time. I made the short version, so it's actually really quite short. So I usually feel more comfortable wearing it in the winter with boots and tights and um, a long sleeve top underneath or a, a roll neck sweater sometimes. But yeah, this is, everybody loves this pattern. Um, it's so wearable. And I put the pocket on the front there, I loved my top stitching, lots of people comment on this dress when I wear it, they can't quite believe it's handmade and I think that's one of the nice things about this pattern, it's actually really quite simple to sew up but looks like um, ready to wear, so everyone's like wow did you make that? Um, so I just got two more things to show you today because this is my first video I'm kind of finding my feet a bit and I'm hoping that this is interesting to everybody else because I love watching what other people are making. Um, I have uh, two things here. So this skirt pattern which is a Berda 6650, I'm sorry if everything's in reverse, I need to get to grips with um, how to film these things properly. But this is a very full skirt with uh, deep pleats and I wanted to make something to wear to a wedding. Uh, I wanted separates rather than a dress um, so that I, there was an outside chance I might wear it again because like everybody I get excited about dress patterns. You take all that time to wear, uh, make it and then actually I'm not a massive dress wearer if I'm honest. Um, so. I made two versions of the skirt. The first one I made was out of this really fantastic, oh that's the back, really fantastic sort of tropical print cotton fabric. Yeah, so I made this skirt um, for a wedding that I was going to, a family wedding, and I made the midi length, so 
goes right down to just bet between the knee and the ankle. Uh, it's quite full, as you can see. And maybe if I stand up, you can perhaps see the print better. It's got, I've got orchids. I think it's an orchid or a lily. Maybe it's lilies. Lilies and these pretty yellow flowers. And I love this sort of purple colour behind. Um, I can't, I don't think I made any alterations to the pattern. It was quite straightforward. It's one of the first times I'd ever put in an invisible zip in the back. Uh, so I didn't do too bad a job for the first time. I was quite pleased with that. So I did make another version and this version is out of a, like a cotton sateen. Which was from Fabricland. Uh, most of my fabrics from Fabricland. I have do, do online purchases occasionally but um, I find it tricky because you can't feel the fabric, you can't see the colour properly and um, although I bought some really lovely fabrics just recently from um, Stitchy Bee in particular, her fabrics are always lovely when they arrive, uh, yeah I kind of like going into a shop and like wasting time usually hours looking at all the different fabrics and feeling them and buying stuff that I don't need. Anyway yeah so uh, this one is a shorter version comes just uh, just to the knee so I figured that perhaps I might have more of a chance of wearing it if I can put a photo in I will try. Um, yeah and this is really nice sort of grey background with um, vibrant pink and purple flowers and I just really like this. I think I originally bought this fabric to make a pair of ultimate trousers. I haven't had much success on the trouser front yet. Uh, and that's another story for another day. And then the last one I've made is New Look 6446. This jumpsuit. And there was a while when everybody was making versions of this jumpsuit. Um, it's just a really nice shape. The culotte sort of trouser has really uh, been popular. So I made my version in a lovely cotton sateen. It's got some stretch in it. It's got pink flowers, blue leaves, green, really pretty sort of summer, summer colours and love this jumpsuit. I've had lots of compliments on this jumpsuit. Um, can't wait for it to be warm enough to wear it again to be honest. These sleep, these pockets are awesome. I'd never made pockets like this before so I was really pleased when I managed to get those to look good. And big uh, concealed zip down the back which I think I probably did a better job of uh, the third time around so yeah getting to grips with concealed zips or invisible zips. It's really comfy to wear. Um, the only problem with jumpsuits is when you need to use the bathroom, but we all know that. It's kind of worth the hassle uh, because uh, I love a good jumpsuit, who doesn't? So yeah, um, hopefully I will have a picture of me wearing this inserted somewhere so you can see it fit really nicely. I can't remember if I made any adjustments. I don't think I did. If I did, it was only just a centimetre here or there to take the side seams in perhaps. But it, it did fit really nicely straight out of the packet and I think I made a size 12, yeah I think it was a size 12, um, yeah love it, it's got a little tie belt that also goes with it, so yeah really pleased. enjoyed my first foray into uh, vlogging for sewing. Um, if you like my video please click the like button below uh, or subscribe to my channel so that you can see the next video. Like I said it will probably be something to do with children's making. Um, I'm hoping to do quite a few of these. I really enjoy watching them like I said so I was kind of keen to make my own. So yeah. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.